10. The Wrong Signal A woman fell to her death in one of the most bizarre bungee jumping accidents ever. This woman leaped off a bridge, wait for it, without the cord attached. It's not exactly bungee jumping if you don't have a bungee. At this point, she was literally just jumping off a bridge. But of course, there's a deeper story here. Yesenia Morales, just 25 years old, was jumping off a viaduct in northern Colombia. The young woman, who just so happened to be a lawyer, had never gone bungee jumping before. She traveled to the popular spot with her boyfriend, but her boyfriend was ahead of her in the line. And when they approached the platform, the staff members gave the signal for her boyfriend to jump. Morales misunderstood the signal, thinking it was her time to jump. So she leaped off the bridge even before one of the attendants attached the bungee cord to her ankles. Her boyfriend literally stood on the edge and watched her free fall to her death. We'll probably never know what was going on in this girl's mind in the seconds after she jumped. She must have realized that nobody ever tied anything to her ankles. How exactly was she expecting to bounce back up if she wasn't attached to a cord? In any case, her boyfriend was the first to reach her corpse beneath the bridge. He tried to give her CPR, but it was hopeless. 9. Cord attached to his butt A Russian daredevil took bungee jumping to the next level when he attached the elastic rope that normally goes round the ankles to a piercing on his butt. That's right, he literally hooked the apparatus for bungee jumping onto a flimsy piercing that he had on his buttocks. Well, to a few piercings on his butt. It wasn't just one. He then jumped off the roof of an abandoned warehouse in St. Petersburg, Russia, and plummeted 50 feet, 15 meters, through the air. As the man plunged towards the concrete floor below the warehouse, the bungee cords pulled tight. The man screamed like a lobster being boiled alive, and he was eventually left swinging slowly back and forth like a pendulum, suspended by metal hooks through his butt. As you can imagine, this hurt a lot. Apparently, the daredevil went through with the stunt simply because he wanted to feel, and I quote, the whole range of existing pain sensations. That might just be a bad translation from Russian, or this guy is something the experts call a sadomasochist. Either way, who would have thought you could bungee jump with your butt? 8. Poor English The poor English of a bungee instructor in Spain has been blamed for the death of a teenager who simply wanted to have a little bit of fun on vacation. According to the New York Post, the horrific misunderstanding happened on a bridge in the northern Spanish province of Cantabria. Although the instructor has not been named for safety reasons, he's being accused of directly causing the death of Vera Moll who was just 17 years old when she jumped off the bridge and died. The problem was that the instructor told her, no jump. But what she heard was, now jump. These two words should obviously not be mixed up, especially seeing just how serious the consequences can be. Believing that the instructor told her to jump, Vera hopped off the bridge. She had indeed been tied with the bungee cord, but she wasn't properly secured. Even though she had the cord around her ankles, it hadn't been adjusted properly, and she died when the cord didn't pull tight. The attendant responsible for the English mix-up is now facing prosecution for homicide by negligence, especially since he didn't check her ID to make sure she was old enough to jump. 18 is the legal age in Spain, and because the road bridge where the bungee jumping was happening was an illegal site. 7. The Rope Snapped Almost as bad as not having a bungee cord attached before jumping is having the bungee cord snap in the middle of a jump. 
That's what happened to Adam Estaves Gomez Diaz Martins, another 25-year-old thrill seeker who plummeted to his death. This time, tragedy struck in the municipality of Antonio Diaz in Brazil. Adam jumped off a viaduct and plummeted 300 feet, 91 meters, to his doom below. The cause of the accident? A snapped bungee cord. While authorities haven't yet come forward to confirm the cause of death, those who witnessed the event claim that his rope snapped just as he was reaching the bottom, when it was supposed to support his weight and fling him back up. Also not released is the name of the organization that scheduled and organized the jump, which Adam apparently paid a whopping $7 for. Adam was actually a computer technician climbing his way up the corporate ladder, and so his death came as quite a shock to his friends and family. At such a young age, he already had his own company, his own car, and was, according to relatives, the pride of the family. And yet all Adam ever wanted to do was go bungee jumping. Too bad it cost him his life. 6. The Bungee Jumping Pig In 2020, there was some serious outrage being directed at a Chinese theme park. The reason for the outrage is that the park forced a pig to go bungee jumping. Yes, you heard that correctly. The bizarre and extremely cruel stunt was made to celebrate the opening of the newest bungee attraction at the theme park. But it didn't go over very well, since the internet and basically everyone on Earth called them a bunch of savage monsters. Here's how the horrible stunt was performed. The pig was tied to a pole, two men carried it to the top of the tower, they hooked it up to bungee cords, and they pushed the clueless animal off the edge. And this wasn't a small pig, either. Local reports say it weighed 165 pounds, 74 kilograms. And to make the stunt even more perverse, the officials at the park tied a purple cape around its shoulders. And as if hearing about this wasn't enough, the unfortunate people who watched the video could hear the pig squealing in terror as it was shoved off the tower. Afterward, the pig was still alive, but not for long. Rather than keeping the pig in the park, officials took it to the slaughterhouse, chopped it into pieces, and then ate it. The general consensus is that the park committed a terrible act with this vulgar marketing tactic. Pretty much everyone has condemned it. The park finally came out recently with a statement simply saying that they accepted the criticism and that they would do better in the future. And while this doesn't sound like much, hopefully it stops other theme parks from forcing animals to go bungee jumping. 5. Hitting the Water Rishi Bavija had a very bad time bungee jumping. As he sped towards the water, falling at somewhere around 80 miles per hour, 128 kilometers per hour, he waited desperately for the moment when the elastic cord would snap and fling him back into the air. That moment never came. Instead, Rishi continued falling until he impacted the water with such unbelievable force that he might as well have jumped off the Empire State Building. He slapped the surface hard with his chest and miraculously didn't die. Because he did a belly flop at 80 miles per hour, 128 kilometers per hour, he managed to escape any kind of catastrophic head injury. Instead, Rishi ruptured his spleen, he ripped open his liver, he collapsed both his lungs, and he suffered from major bruising. After this guy was pulled out of the water and taken to the hospital, surgeons compared his injuries to those who were the victim of a car crash. He needed to spend a month healing in a local Bangkok hospital before he was well enough to be transferred back home to England. The poor guy had been on a backpacking vacation in Thailand when the incident occurred. He joined with a group of other travelers to face his fears and jump off a bridge with a bungee tied around his ankles. 
but for whatever reason, the bungee slipped off during the jump, causing him to experience more pain and misery than he signed up for. 4. The Wrong Rope You would think that when it comes to bungee jumping, all the cords would be the exact right length. But in Brazil, that's apparently not the case. A bungee jumper recently fell to his death after jumping off a tall bridge near Sao Paulo because the rope was too long. The victim's name is Fabio Ezequiel de Mores, and he went bungee jumping with his wife, his young son, and his brother. His whole family was in attendance, and they all got to witness the moment he slapped the ground and broke open like an egg. Of course, nobody could have anticipated what was going to happen. Everyone was cheering, they were waiting for him to bounce back. It wasn't until that final second when everyone realized he was going to hit the ground that the screaming started. Fabio was immediately rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do to save him. He was pronounced dead on arrival. But here's one part of the story that we can all appreciate. According to the eyewitnesses, Fabio had planned to take his son on the jump with him, but at the very last moment, he changed his mind and chose to do the jump alone. The sudden change of heart likely saved his son's life. 3. 360 feet to the floor. When Erin Langworthy, a young student in her 20s from Australia, plummeted into a river all because of a snapped bungee cord, she somehow managed to live to tell the tale. In fact, she recently told reporters that she's considering jumping again, hopefully this time with a bungee cord that doesn't snap. The shocking plunge was at Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in the entire world. The young woman jumped off the edge of the falls above Zambezi River. She fell 360 feet, 109 meters, and she went head first into the rapids. Nobody knows why the rope snapped, it's just one of those freak accidents. She was supposed to almost brush the water, then be yanked back up. Instead, she ended up rolling down the rapids and getting sucked under the current. Even more amazing than the fact that she survived is that she managed to get herself out of the raging river, which is, by the way, infested with crocodiles. She kept getting pulled down because the bungee rope, the part that snapped, was still wrapped tightly around her ankles. She had to get the thing off her ankles, then swim to the side of the river, and all the while dodging hungry crocodiles. Aaron then spent just one week in the hospital with a fractured collarbone, a bit of damage to her lungs, and some bruising to her legs and arms. All in all, she is incredibly lucky to still be alive. 2. Drunk and Negligent Two men are being prosecuted in the case of a fashion student's death. Prosecutors are seeking a jail sentence of two years for the boss of a firm that organized the deadly bungee jump, as well as the monitor who watched the disaster unfold. The case goes back to July of last year, when Cleo de Abreu from London went bungee jumping off a bridge in Spain. The bridge itself was constructed by the Romans nearly 2,000 years ago. Located 250 feet, 76 meters, above the river below. If convicted, both men will face charges of manslaughter. The young fashion student was on a trip with 12 friends, and they had all signed up to go bungee jumping. But this was a little different from ordinary bungee jumping, as they were supposed to swing after falling instead of bouncing up. However, the jumpers weren't given any pertinent information to help them with a jump, they were just kind of shoved off the bridge. Plus, the monitor had apparently turned his back before Cleo jumped and wasn't even paying attention. And to make matters worse, the monitor had allegedly been drinking at the time, which means he may have been drunk and negligent. In this case, drinking on the job costs a life. 1. Freak Accident in a total freak accident, a woman in San Diego died when a man jumped off a building in the downtown core and landed on her head. 
There was no bungee jumping involved, but the idea is kind of the same. Taylor Kahl was minding her own business, walking past a parking garage on 10th Avenue just after 7 o'clock in the evening. It was Monday night and she was strolling along with her date when out of nowhere, a human being fell from the sky and landed on her noggin. According to police officers from the San Diego Police Department, all attempts to resuscitate the woman were futile, and she was pronounced dead on the scene. The cause of death? Blunt injuries to the head. As for her killer, he was an unknown male in his 20s or 30s, still unidentified. He came from the top of the parking garage that Taylor was walking past. Nobody knows exactly what happened. If he accidentally fell, if he jumped off on purpose, or even if he was pushed by someone else. Whatever the case, he might as well have been a falling anvil. His weight on the top of Taylor's skull, falling at full velocity, was enough to kill her instantly. Would you dare go bungee jumping after hearing these horrific stories? Let us know in the comments if you would or not. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe and support the channel and keep up to date on awesome videos. See you next time. Bye.